we'll get the, these deep space methyloxes and try to tube. Tube is five tons though. The thing is, we're thinking of replacing the vector. Well, that's four tons, so. The tube has much less thrust, it's just more efficient. Uh, really, it's the bottom two stages. I guess the second stage can also be replaced with the tubas. They'll be our J2 engine, even though they're nothing like the J2 engine. Oh, it's this size. Hmm. Well, that's going to make it hard to use it on this stage. I, I still want five engines here. <laughs> uh, how bad will it be if I put nose cones on top of these as far as that fairing is concerned. Well, we don't have the 5 meter tanks to make a proper Saturn V. Here, uh, maybe we can paint it a bit. Now does it look better? I mean, this is how Saturn I looked like, so I mean, you can't knock the strapping tanks onto the side of something deal. That's exactly how they did it. In fact, this little shape that occurs right here, between the nose cone and those tanks, Saturn 1 totally has that. We'll try to go to Tylo with it. But I have a bad feeling about this. What does Triplander say? We'll blame... Oh, Triplander says that we need more Delta V. But we, this is to curb in low orbit though. It's not taking the aero capture into curb in, into account. Okay, well, we'll see. Let's say... We'll have one Kerbal in the Gumball and one in the Lander. Who haven't we tortured? Um, Shondas. <laughs> and Shelkin. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Shondas and Shelkin. The, or, and we'll, well, I guess we'll toss in a Desmi as well. It's not like they take food. Okay, so let's try it but it's probably a bad idea okay we'll go straight up a lot more this time we'll love the full countdown it's a saturn 5 thing up it goes It's got a lot of drag. Okay. Well, that part sure works. That part works impressively, actually. Oh, I forgot to put the decoupler instead of the separator. Okay, well, I guess that's all we're going to get out of that one. There's a funny sound that this one makes when it extends. Oh, it's got little verniers. I didn't even notice that. That's cute. Oh, let's coast a bit. Oh, did it get affected by the thrust? I swear, got caught by something there and accelerated. Yeah, we got about 500 meters per second extra. But I guess we'll take that for now. Let's see. I mean, if we have to send a different mission over to Jewel to actually manage it, we'll deal with that. For now, let's just go with this. Well, that's a pretty good approach. 2137 though, more than I expected. Okay, well, let's just go. Yeah, we were still late. Because otherwise, halfway through the burn, to be pointing out prograde. Okay, well, this is all too jumbled up, so I want to get rid of that. Okay, mid-course correction. 
please don't take too much. Okay, well obviously we want to be in line with Tylo. Obviously not that low. Okay. Let's go. To the mid-course correction. Let's see. This is our team, our Tylo Lander team departing Kerbin. Faster. <laughs> All right, Jewel Probe 2, we're completely ignoring. <laughs> uh, should we do something about that? Now it's entering the SOI. Um, we should have sent another lander, too. We could have just sent another uncrewed lander instead of falling along with this. Oh, well. If all these Kerbals perish, I, I'll send a probe instead. <laughs> That was difficult, let's face it. Okay, um, so that's Jewel Probe 2. We really don't have anything to do with it. Let's do this correction first, and then pay attention to it. Um, let's see what the relative... Well, it is our target. Where is our relative inclination to Tylo? Maybe if we get rid of this, we better... No, it doesn't show me. Okay, well, we'll take that periapsis, and this is still on its way. And it's charged. We'll, we'll let them be. And let's take a look at that dual probe, too. Well, I'll go to the tracking station and get to it. We have no use for this probe, but we might as well capture it into orbit anyway. Oh, I guess we could send this into Leif atmosphere. It's got a heat shield. Oh, wait, we're losing power. Maybe we shouldn't be tempted by this opportunity, though. I didn't think we'd be this high, though. Out of fuel orbital event. Oh, well. Nice of it to stop in that case. Yeah, I thought we were approaching closer. But I guess that was the leaf periapsis I was looking at. I guess that one has a limit. It has to be within a certain number of digits. Okay, well at this point, we should be able to go to our apoapsis. That's in 62 days. That's still before the other missions got come in, surely. And uh, just boost up to Leif Orbit and hope that Leif can bring us down decisively. Oh, uh, we lost power. No! Well, okay, we'll use his RCS to fix it. <laughs> how, how are you blocked by Jewel panel? You are not blocked by Jewel. Okay, I'm gonna go to the tracking station and come back to it. Still says blocked by Jewel. It's definitely lit. Uh, okay, so we just have to go prograde, and since it obeys that command, it's fine. Oh, but it doesn't take my H. Yeah, it'll turn, but it's not going to take the forward backwards. Still blocked by Jewel, apparently. Okay, well, I'm not going to trouble myself with this thing anymore since it... It's now just a bonus item. Nope, oh, powerful, powerful. Okay, that's as close as we need to get. So, now how much is all this going to cost us? No, we can't even see that maneuver. What am I doing? You can never see more than one maneuver. Well, these will be the first Kerbals in the Jewel system, right? I, I'm surprised there wasn't some crew report or something. Crew observation. Somebody said that automatically did it on SOI change. It sure doesn't. <laughs> Sometimes it just completely forgets about the crew observations. And we wouldn't have gotten that 160 science points if I hadn't wondered, hey, what about the crew observations?
Now it's blinking again. It automatically got the low orbit once I reminded it. Uh, it doesn't seem to remember sometimes. One sixty-seven is all we have in this stage, and I would like a Tylo grazing situation. Ah, uh, that was a leaf thing going on there. Don't know if it would have helped, but the thing is, we're gonna have to do a transposition and docking after this. And sort that whole business out. I don't even know if we can get past the fairings properly. Okay, well, so that and that, basically. I guess so. Yes. Okay, well, okay, that's, that's a good start. That's a good start. Right. And that one... Okay, that's fine. Now, these guys... Oh, uh, we're still controlling that one? Oop! No! Okay, well, no, everything's gone pear-shaped. Well, what happened to the docking port at the top of that? Oh, well, I guess they explode. Hold on. Can we, like, revert to five seconds ago? I mean, we can't really use this without the engine. We can't use that without... <laughs> We've got the engine here. Uh... Okay, there must have been an autosave. Oh my god. Oh no! Oh no! Um... Hmm... Okay, not like that. Okay, okay. Okay, let's try and do what we were supposed to do here. Okay, so that's gonna separate. Okay. We are temporarily potentially okay and nothing is blown up. Let me time over a bit. <laughs> okay. But now we have to separate off right here. Okay, before, before that clicks him to us. Quickly, quickly, it'll explode our engine. The problem was this bit actually exploded our engine last time. Why is it only using this one to go forward? Has anybody else noted weird RCS thruster pr pr stuff going on? I'm not even sure. See, this one isn't firing at all. Look at that. What's up with that? I mean, I think this has got to be more interesting than I want it to be as it is. Blocked by a part? And it, it shouldn't be. It says thrust disabled. A while back. Oh gosh, that seemed forceful. <laughs> you are the engine we would like. You are the engine that needs to stay off for now. Uh, why does it look like both of you are on? It seems like this is off. And I hope that is true. Okay, we're in line with Tylo. Okay, there's totally gonna be an encounter right there. Come on. <laughs> it's just not gonna show me what it's gonna do about it. That's definitely got potentially be a crash into Tylo there, but still not telling us. All right. 
Yeah, the problem is we're using a lot of the fuel from this side to do the Tylo capture. And I don't think it's going to have enough to bring us back, basically. Okay, well, we'll try and make sure we get on the right side of Tylo. So that it helps pull our orbit down. But I wish it would just show it to us. Now, okay, now it's showing us the crash. Okay, hold on. And how much would it take to get into orbit there? But we have to get into... Ah, wait, we can't plot two things at once. Right. Uh, okay, uh, fine. At least the monument is in an equatorial place. So that's easy. I think we'll take that. Okay. It's not even letting me plot a maneuver here right now, by the way. <sighs> okay, anyway. Looking intently at it. And this will take a little bit of time. But it shouldn't take too much Delta V. Not for just the capture part, but then getting into a low orbit takes a bit more. Um, that bar is not going down, is it? <laughs> is it? Maybe it's going down. It's going down really slowly, though. I don't think that's what you would advertise as... I mean, you said the burn time was the burn time. Okay, uh, I'm gonna try the warping. No, no, no. Did you see that? It started increasing our apoapsis. Did you see that? What the heck? Okay. We gotta test this again. It's going down the way it's supposed to. Okay, now I'm gonna start time warping. Up, up, up. See? Oh, we have a bug. <laughs> Unless you've got a good explanation for why it would suddenly increase the apoapsis like that. We, I think we used more than we, we were supposed to, too. Um, yeah, the Delta V is going up there. <laughs> Let's see, let me try and extricate the poodle. Oh, that's not a lot of Delta V. Is using all of its effort just capturing us into orbit and it doesn't have enough to bring us back. It's just that this stage was reading an incorrect amount of delta V because it had the poodle in the same slot. The poodle's off, but it had the poodle in the same slot. It might be because the poodle was in the same slot that the... You know what it is? I bet you what the problem is was that the poodle was in the same slot. And so in Time Warp, even though the Poodle's off, it was reading the net thrust of the Poodle and the Terrier. Because the Poodle will overwhelm the thrust of the Terrier, but it'd be firing in the opposite direction, and so increase our orbit. So it's basing the Time Warp thrust on the stage, which is a bad idea. We're not getting into a particularly low orbit here. Well, it's gotta be stranded. But <laughs> we're we gonna do as much as we can with it. It'll still have the RCS a little bit. Okay, that's the end of that stage. Well, they're stranded in orbit. <laughs> uh, let's just get the lander off. At least they're in orbit, though. We'll still circularize first and then try and land. 2800 seems less than I was hoping from this stage, too. Especially at this juncture. Okay, um, that'll be okay for now. We need to wait until the location's in daylight, so I'm gonna go back to the tracking station. Well, we're gonna go to Space Center and then the tracking station to time warp. Uh, I'm gonna save. 
I'm gonna save. Uh, time warp restrictions. Gosh darn it. This high? It doesn't read any delta V from up there. Should I be worried? The poodle is powerful. I mean, if we did that, we might be crashing into the surface, but we'd be crashing into the surface at 800 meters per second. <laughs> hmm. Let's just assume that we have to get done with this stage by the time we get there. I don't know why that is inside the planet though. That's suspicious. Should I be going with where it intercepts the planet or whether that where that dot is? Is my question right at the moment. This the fact that the bar is like half done is also worrying me. I did this with the other lander too, and I don't understand it. We'll probably need to get active pretty quickly. I don't know why these two don't seem to be gaining delta V, that might be a problem. At least it, it's reading delta V now. With the Tylo lander, with the probe, I definitely start burning too early. More pure. And go. I want to be a little bit further south. I don't know, I, I think I'm gonna overshoot. Uh, yeah, I don't know what this is, what's happening here. Don't know what's happening there, but I'm worried about our speed. There's some hills up ahead. Nope, 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 nope. Oh gosh. Oh no, 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 not that. Uh... Oh shoot, abort to orbit. We'll see whether I can get back to orbit. Ah, it's close though. Come on, Shulkin. <laughs> Here we are again with a Kerbal. And there's other Kerbals stranded too. We can reload the save. Oh, you lading or something. I don't know what's going on there. Uh, or we could just accept our fate and rescue these Kerbals. Okay, alright. Well, I'll blame you guys. Uh, as far as the YouTube audience is concerned, I'm gonna blame you guys for the reload. But uh, tomorrow we'll reload it. So um, we did make the save and we'll load that save and try again.